Got the two tents set up, so let's go ahead and uh, show you those real quick. We're actually comparing these two tents for you guys, so there's another video on that, but uh, let's stay focused on this one here. I'm going to be talking to you about the uh, a sleeping pad for $30 or less. Um, I needed a new sleeping pad and I didn't want to break the bank uh, for myself. I'm a big guy, I'm 6'5", about 250. Uh, so I need a little bit bigger pad than everyone else. Um, we do have some under $20 pads that we're reviewing as well. Uh, my wife and the kids will be sleeping on those, but uh, I'm gonna do this one here. Uh, here's the sleeping Sleep In Go, I guess Sleeping Go, or since it's all different colors, Sleep In Go sleeping pad. This was uh, 30 bucks. Um, and I've got a really good feeling about it because look how happy all these people are. There's no way you can be that happy and not have a good sleeping pad. So uh, let's open it up real quick. I brought it in its box. I'm not sure why I did that, but uh, let's see here. Let's see how small it is. Um, I'll give you guys the uh, all the dimensions and stuff. I'll just flash them on the on the video for you. Um, let's see here. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Tiny, tiny. Sleep and go. Very little. I have a huge hand, so um, it's actually pretty small. Nice. So I'm going to go ahead and inflate this for you. And then I'm going to sleep on it. And I'll let you know how it worked for me. Alright, I just got all the air in my uh, sleep and go here. It took me about 10 breaths, so nothing crazy. Um, there's the, the hole to inflate. Worked pretty good. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and get this in the tent. Sleep on it. I don't know, maybe I'll throw it on the sand or something like the people in the box. They're pretty excited just kind of throw it in random places. Um, I'll probably just sleep on it though. And I'll let you guys know in the morning how uh, comfortable it was. Alright, so we just wanted to do a follow up on the Sleeping Go backpacking pad. As you can see it still has a lot of air in it after a good night's sleep on there. Um, it held up really well. I'm going to go ahead and you how easy it is to put away. I do, I do want to say I slept on it and it was plenty long enough. Um, there was never a point where my feet came off the end of it and I'm 6'5", so um, it gave me pretty good cushion. Uh, for 30 bucks, it's it was a really comfortable sleeping pad. You just open it. So here yeah, the, it, that one doesn't have the two-way valve. It does have the little stopper though, so that the air doesn't come out when you stop. Yeah, it was a pretty nice little pad. For 30 bucks, man, it was certainly um, worth it, I would say. It did the job, kept me comfortable. Just gonna fold it up and see if we can get it back into this little bag. You know how that goes sometimes. Sleep in, go. Toss that down there for you. Nice little bag. She has to do all the work while I do the videoing. <laughs> it's tough with all the sand, man. Sand is everywhere. Beach camping. I think that does roll back up pretty small, doesn't it? Got a little air in it still. So you could probably, what I usually do for that is I usually put a stick in it or something um, so that that air continuously comes out. But I think she's just going to strong arm it right now. Yep. Normally I would just go down there and help her, but <laughs> for the sake of the video. Yeah, so you gotta push that little rubber piece down in there so in order for the air to come out. So that's a little inconvenient. Yeah, but if you just put a stick or something. Yeah, if you just put a little stick or something right there, then. Sure. All right, this is the moment of truth right here. Don't fail us. It's gotta fit in there. I would say that that is acceptable. Ooh, perfect. There you go. Sleep and go. Nice. Definitely give it a thumbs up, guys. For 30 bucks, you can't go wrong. 
Um, it's, it's definitely comparable to the, the $100, $150 ones that I've slept on before. It's not, those are not worth that much more, you know. Um, so I would say if you're on a budget and you need a, a pad that's under 30 bucks, definitely go with the Sleep and Go. Good pad. Hey everyone, thanks so much for stopping by. Uh, if you liked the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. Also, check out me and my family on some of our other great adventures that we go on. Uh, you can subscribe to our channel by clicking the circle in the upper left. It's right there. Uh, thanks so much again for stopping by. I hope you have a great day.